One nothing Yankees as we head to the fourth inning. Logan Forsythe will lead things off for the Rays. We are in between Tyler Snell and Jane Snell, his mom, his twin, other brother Drew up behind us, aunt and uncle behind us as well. Jane, we'll start with you. What has this been like for you? It's now the end of three innings. Are you a little bit better now than the first pitch? Yes, yes, definitely. That that first inning was a little wrenching. It was a little tough, but uh, now he settled down and he's pitching very well. When you sit here and watch him uh, make his major league debut, is this the realization for a lot of people that are sitting around this of a dream? Uh, you know, we all knew he would be here more than likely because he just. He, this is what he lived for. This is what he does. Being a lefty, and I have to give him kudos to his dad. His dad is a great coach and had great mechanics as a pitcher himself. So, yeah, we all kind of had a feeling he would get here. His dad, Dave, unable to make it. Tyler, um, I don't know if anybody knows any him better than a twin like you. How were you doing in that first inning? Doing great. I knew it was just a matter of time before he got out of it. Get his nerves calmed down, and yeah. Now he said your dad told him he would make his debut at Yankee Stadium. Is that that's kind of crazy, huh? Yeah, he called it. He called it right when he got signed that uh, he'd make his debut in Yankee Stadium and throw 100 miles per hour. <laughs> so we'll see. Still waiting for the 100. Yeah. yeah, a couple more innings hopefully. When did you think when you you played ball too? Yeah. But when did you think in Blake's career as Logan Forsythe hits one down the line, Chase Headley makes a nice play for the first out. When did you think the reality was that he could actually be in the big leagues? Uh, right when his, right when he signed, his whole demeanor changed. So I just knew it was going to be a matter of time. It was going to be a slow process, but he'd eventually get there. And Jane, final thing, how, he found out around lunchtime yesterday, which was around 9 in the morning your time. How did you guys all get here? Um, you know, I, I cut hair for a living. I own, I own my own business. And his dad texted me, and I didn't get the text, and I didn't reply. So his dad called me. I said, did, he goes, did you get the text? I go, no, what? He goes, he got called up. And the night before, I had just told Dave, I said, you know, I saw in the article he's supposed to, with the, against the Yankees, at Yankees, he, they were going to bring him up. And he goes, no, not till May. And then, sure enough, it, it, they got called. he got called up. It was great. And you guys grew up Seattle Mariners fans, and here he's facing A-Rod. Yes. That's, yeah. That's a little surreal. Yeah. I was hoping if he didn't get called up now that he'd be in Seattle in May. So actually this is awesome. Well it's great to have you guys here. Jane Tyler drew back there the, the rest of the gang. Thank you very much and good luck the rest thank of the way. You. Thank All you. All right back to you guys. Yeah a great moment for the family there and the part I love mom is breaking down his mechanics. <laughs> she knows him best. Yeah, how cool is that.